It's an uncertain time for the airline industry with some of the biggest names in the business merging in order to survive. But as one analyst looks at this situation, Porter Airlines, a small Canadian carrier, is hoping to give key players a run for their money with ambitions to expand across North America. Christian Yeo from Toronto explains. They took off in Canada just six years ago. Now Toronto-based carrier Porter Airlines has most of North America in its sights. The airline operates routes between Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal and the handful of U.S. destinations within reach. New York, Boston, Chicago and Washington, D.C. But range is Porter's current limitation. Its small fleet of planes confines them to the northeast. They're hoping to change that, putting in a $2 billion order with Bombardier for 12 narrow-bodied jets. The jet that Porter is considering holds 107 people. It can really go anywhere in North America, provided Porter is able to get an extension approval to extend the uh, Toronto City Centre Airport. If they get that, uh, theoretically any city in the US or Canada is in within range for Porter. The airline shown impressive tenacity, transforming Toronto's intimate island city airport into a thriving hub. But as American heavyweights have shown, the U.S. market is tough and Porter's hardly scratched the surface. If it can gain a bigger footprint, though, Canadians stand to benefit. I think there's obviously more choice in the U.S. Uh, we try to bring that to the Canadian market. Um, and that's really what we hope to do with some of these new routes that we'd like to introduce provide more choice, more affordable fares, and uh, give people the opportunity to fly. There are other distractions for Porter. It's involved in its first workers' dispute, suing the union which represents its fuel workers for Twitter posts allegedly questioning the airline's safety record. Porter faces many challenges if it's to expand. First, it needs permission to extend the runway here. And then it needs to successfully take the flight to Canada's biggest airlines, Air Canada and WestJet, before it's to even consider breaking into the US market. But if they can pull it off, Porter can say it's spread its wings across the entire continent at one of the most challenging times for the industry. And after North America, who knows where next? The sky really is the limit. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.